Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of Caesarean Sardis, the map we have been working on. Last time we made some good progress. We got our first block basically squared away here. We're getting the last uh, hovels kind of leveled up to small causes here, so we should have plenty of room for new plebs. We have a, a decent trade system set up here, focusing on timber and a little bit of fruit. I have my fruit down here. And I've also started to get marble, and then by using a cart pusher, I've been taking that marble down to this warehouse, my uh, primary uh, trade warehouse here, and selling that off as well. So, we're looking pretty stable money-wise. We also opened up a second trade route, so we can really start focusing on, on getting our sales out there. Last time I was thinking about uh, moving some of the grain, or not the grain, the fruit from this granary here up here, so it's closer to the sales route. But then I got to thinking we're probably going to start selling uh, wine and and oil as well, which is all going to be done down here. And I'm not sure if it's too much of a hassle to keep the keep the traders going this way with like a nice highway, and then you know we can kind of highway here and there. I don't think it's that much less efficient to do that. But I'll I'll think some more about it. We're not quite there yet, so it doesn't matter too much. With that said, <clears throat> let's go ahead and unpause and get started here. We are now enemies distant, so we're going to have our first invasion soon. Now, you know, one of the things about the base game, as I sip my coffee here, it's it's nice and early here in Kyoto today. Nine in the morning, I'm still needing my coffee. Uh, one of the nice things about the Augustus mod is, unlike the vanilla game, you know, especially in the later campaigns of the vanilla game, the first invasion on a map in the vanilla game, uh, you know, starting in, like, the, the last quarter of the maps, maybe the last third, they can be pretty beefy, right? The first invasion, if you're not ready for it, you just lose the game right there. <clears throat> but fortunately for us, uh, that's not the case in the Augustus mod. Usually map makers are careful to, to kind of space things out before you get too overwhelmed. With that being said, though, we are going to have to take some time and figure out exactly what we want to do here. I can get a couple more uh, farms up here. I do want to secure the farmland, just so I can stop thinking about it. Oh, we're getting asked for timber, so we'll start storing that. Uh, there, we can road this up here, which is good. So we can get one here, one here, and one here which is great, that's three more farms, and we can do a, a road just like that, <clears throat> and that'll touch all three of these. And then I'll go ahead and I'm gonna roadblock this too, because we don't really need, um, we don't really need them patrolling this area here, they just need to go kind of back and forth right here for our engineering prefecture. So this is, this should be more than enough food to supply this granary. And these guys shouldn't have any issues from here on out. Let me check my total population. I don't know if I'm going to need another block right away. So, right now, I have available capacity of 108. And that's going to go up a little bit, because we still have some unevolved houses here. <clears throat> the small casas have 68. The small hovels... Oh, this is a desirability issue, it looks like. Small hovels have 52, so we're going to get a decent amount more of people. Let's, um, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to get a small pond here. Is that going to be enough to touch these? We'll see. Is that even in range of this? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so that leveled those guys up to large. And these guys are still wanting some desirability, so... Let's get a... what do we want to get here? I think for now... We'll just get a... A statue over here. We can we can move this around later. That's, that's fine. Okay, our... Timber is ready to go, so let's send that so we can get back to selling it. We'll just put that right there, and that's gonna be more than enough. This isn't really ideal, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now everything's leveled up. Let's check our housing once again. So now we have enough uh, capacity for 156 more plebs. So basically, as it is, without adding, adding any more stuff, uh, we have enough room for essentially 200 more workers. 
well, the 50 we have room for now, plus another 150-ish. So, we have to be a little bit conscious of that. Now, we could add a new block right away, but the nice thing about these blocks here is we can also add a ton of houses just on this side of the block, and this is just free real estate. It's like the meme, it's free real estate right here. So we'll probably do that. We're looking good with the gods, the gods aren't pissed or anything. Uh, over here, uh, 3 of 12 marble here, and the large mausoleum is finished. So we're just waiting for the marble to come in here, which should be a little, a little while. I might work on finishing that sooner, because it is nice to have those benefits. Another thing I want to get, actually, because <clears throat> I didn't even think about it last time, and I'm thinking about it now, is the Caravanserai, which is... Is that not available on this map? It might not be. I don't see it here, so maybe not. We cannot improve trade via the Caravanserai, which is okay. I don't see a lighthouse here either, so... Those are two things we're not going to be getting, which is, you know, it is, it is what it is. You know what? I forgot we can get plazas on this map. I'm so used to, you know, so many maps uh, in Caesar 3 don't have uh, plazas available that I'm just, I default in my brain to not being able to build plazas. This one does. So I didn't have to build that statue. I could have just uh, gotten the plazas and been done with it. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, we are enemies closing, so let's stop messing around here. And let's start thinking about our defense. For our, for our, uh, <clears throat> for our defense, I might get our supply depot over here. Kind of don't want to, but I could. Uh, I could do a supply depot over here so I could get food from this guy. I could also get it down here, and we could be. Just taking from our trade. That, that's probably the right move. It's already set. I did set it to do that. <clears throat> the supply depot... Or, sorry, supply post. I, the, the StarCraft player in me always wants to call it a supply depot. For all you Terran enjoyers out there. I would have to put it here on the farmland. I could put it up here. We could drop it up here. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's get rid of some of these trees. Get rid of some of this too. I don't, I don't like this road. We'll move this up like that and this. Get rid of that. And I'll do the supply depot. <coughs> Excuse me. Got that morning, morning stuffiness in the throat. Supply post. Excuse me. I said it again. We'll put it right here. And then we'll just make sure this is connected. Like that. There we go. So this... Should be able to reach here. Yeah, okay, I think we're okay. We don't have to do anything with that. Okay, so that'll provide food for our troops. But it will take a bit of food. So let's, um... Let's add a few more farms here. Let's go farms and fruits. And we'll get one, two here. And then I don't want to kind of make a zigzag thing if I can help it. I'd rather just, uh, you know what? I'm not, you know what? I'm not liking. I'm not liking this. Let's, let's get a roadblock up here. And then let's re roadblock <clears throat> down here maybe for now. Okay, that's good enough. We'll, we'll add highways in a bit. Okay. So, we've got supply a uh, supply depot ready to get food for our army. Now we need a barracks, and we need a place to put our troops. So, the troops, I could probably settle, like, in here somewhere. We could give them a very central location so they could respond to, you know, here, here, or here pretty quickly. Um... I don't think this is a very good location for a block here. It's a bit tight. I mean, you could you could definitely work with this. But, um... Yeah, I think we'll have enough room for for all of our plebs in this kind of central area here. 
Maybe, maybe we would want to use this eventually, but I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go uh, barracks and things like that up in this area. Or maybe even over here. We can low bridge this and then have things over here too. That might be a little bit better. Let's see, we can fit a low bridge here, I think. Yep. And then we can do a... We'll need to do our barracks first. I kind of want to get that close by. Let's see. Let me put it right up here. Why not? Do barracks there, and then I always get javelins first. Now, with this recent update... There's now a new type of soldier. They're called Auxiliaries Infantry. I've never built those before. Those are quite new. So we'll probably try to get a few of those today. For now, though, I'm just going to go ahead and get a Legionary Fort. Uh, not a Legionary Fort. A Auxiliary Fort. And we'll put the, uh, the usual suspects right here. Let's get rid of that. And then I do want to get rid of these walls eventually. Uh, we don't really want these here. But for now, it's fine. We'll have our first troops coming out. Which is all we really need. Okay, so let's go back to focusing on industry. So, how are we doing here? Well, what month is it? Let me check that. We are in August right now, so we're kind of middle of the year. We have sold 25 of 65 timber to, to Marina, and 32 of 70 to Ephesus. So we still have a lot more room for sales. Again, that was with having to ship off quite a bit of timber to, uh, to Caesar as well. 11 of 12 on marble, so we're, we're selling quite a bit of marble. In fact, we're, we're pretty much capped on that. And also, we're at uh, 12 of 25 fruit, and down here... We're at 16 of 40 fruit. So, think we could probably add a few more uh, lumber yards here. Maybe, maybe a, like two right here wouldn't be the worst. But we do have, uh, well, maybe not. You know why? Because we're stocking quite a bit of it. So it's not like we're we're running out here and then traders are coming in and not able to get anything. Maybe now's the time to add some highways. So we want these these guys to get out of our city quicker, right? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add some highways. Specifically, we're going to add them at the exit first. Just because it's easy. We're not going to be building anything here anyway. These things are quite expensive. So we'll just put a few of them here for now. So that last stretch, they can kind of hustle on out of here. And that'll make it so new guys can come into the city quicker, which is what we want. Here comes some right now. And they're buying up our goods, they're gobbling up that lumber. So you know what, maybe we don't have to, to worry about getting more lumber yards. We're selling a, a pretty decent amount here. And we've got more coming in right now. Let's just keep an eye on it for a second. Because I think it's okay. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll get one or two more. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go raw materials, timber, and we'll get a couple more. Let's just make sure we extend that road up here, and there we go. Just so we're we're always ready to sell timber. I don't want anyone to come in and not be able to buy things that they need. All right, these guys are also going down here to get some fruit, which is good. We should have some uh, barracks trained over here. Let's prioritize forts. Our troops being trained over here. It's very soon, hopefully. There we go. There's our first uh, javelinier right there. Perfect. And I am going to go ahead... Ooh, landslides. That's bad news. I'm going to get uh, a couple more houses here. Now, the reservoir is not a popular building to live next to, so we'll probably have to to build, like, a fountain or something right here to, to make it look nicer, but that's okay. 
Oops, someone's shooting at something. I'm guessing it's sheep. Yeah, I hear sheep being slaughtered. Not these guys. Well, alright. R.I.P. Sheep. We'll flee some good. Alright, let's go back to, uh, to this real quick. Let's get a small pond right here and here, just so we don't have to worry about desirability with these guys. And food-wise, we are... Ooh. Let me just make sure... Yeah, this one isn't connected. I have, I have done a goof. That actually does not connect. I wonder if I can get this a one tile down. I do this all the time, so don't worry if you do it too. Okay, so I could do a, a bit of a wonky thing here, like that. And you know what, this should be fine. There we go. Now these are gonna be... These are gonna be touching. Yeah, if you have something like that where you have a, a you know, a diagonal curve in a building that's kind of diagonal to a road like that, it won't actually be touching for the purposes of supplying workers. However, for walkers, it will be touching. So if you add like a, if I put a road right here, for example, let me grab my road tool like right here and made a road out like this, walkers could actually jump this and they would start walking over here. It's a bit weird how that works, but there you go. Okay, so that should take care of that issue there. And well, we might get one more fort here in a second. We'll see. I also do want to get roads as we can. Oh, okay, we are really full on marble here. So you know what I want to do, actually? I want to take some of that down here. What do we have? We have three marble here right now. We need... Eh, maybe we don't need that much more. We want to sell more marble if we can. But right now... The next city we can open up trade with is Hierapolis, and that would buy 15 more marble, but it's 2,500 to open, and we're at 2,600 denarii. So, we'll be a little bit careful. Even though our denarii is shooting up here, I don't want to... I don't want to put myself in a pickle just yet. We've got a huge stock of timber, though. It feels good. And let's make sure we're selling everything we want to be selling here. Exports over zero. Here... Uh, yeah, we look okay. Okay. You know what? Maybe we should open that trade route. I'm... I'm seriously considering it now. Another thing I could do here is I could add another market to help distribute goods, but I'm not too worried about that yet. There we go. These guys have leveled up. How much uh, extra plebbery did that give me? That got me... Available capacity, 147. Okay, yeah, we're, we're fine for now. Okay. Now, one thing we do want to focus on is getting our Hippodrome done, and also getting a district around here. And we also want to start getting rid of some of the extraneous stuff we've got here because of the, uh, the earthquake. Why? Because it's just an eyesore. And we're not going to want to keep all this here. We might get rid of this soon as well. Let's get rid of this here. We might put some... something else here. We could put a block here if we wanted to. But I believe the cracks are undesirable. Let's check. I'm not actually sure now. So let's look at desirability. And yes, yeah, the plebs do not like cracks. Look at that. That's super undesirable. Increased trading for wood to a thesis, okay. Yeah, you can see the red is very undesirable, so all those cracks, plebs do not like the cracks here. They, uh, they also don't like the reservoir, but we're, we're fixing that a bit. And they don't like industrial buildings or forts or things like that, so you can see they obviously, they really don't like this area. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's refocus here. So, our patrician district is going to be right here. And I'm just going to partition it out right now. I'm not going to actually build it, but I just want to have it ready. And the Hippodrome is 
not really... I see no... Okay. I was wondering if the Hippodrome was like Giga Undesirable, but apparently it's not. It's very, it's very neutral. Price rise in marble, which is good for us. We can keep selling that marble. And I'm just gonna, just gonna make a few changes here. Like that. And then because we have this nice open area, we're gonna get a, a healthy patrician block right here. So let's do. Let's start it right over here. We'll go we'll go two away from this here. So we'll one, two, three. We'll start it right here. Oops, right there. Alright. And then water we're just gonna bring bring in from right there. A lot of people do patrician blocks a lot of different ways. There's a ton of fancy ways uh, you can do patricians. I'm I'm pretty vanilla on this. I usually just use goddess statues to kind of mark out where I want to get things. So in this case, yeah, I can get, uh, we'll do one, two, three. I like to get three by three. I don't really see the necessity for getting four by fours most of the time. So I focus on three by three palaces, the medium palaces. If I can get them, those are great. So we'll get a bunch of three by three areas that we're going to mark off like this, and then we'll have a spot right here to put fountains. Just like that. So that's one, two, three we have room for. Oops. We are invasion imminent now. Just delete this real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's actually get rid of this. And this is a decent sized patrician block. If we can get eight three by threes, we'll be we'll be feeling fine. Oops, that's a little bit too far. Get rid of that. And then for our water source right here. Uh this is not gonna reach. It's not gonna cut it. We want it right here-ish. This would be enough. So, I think we can... Oh. oh, wow, we could even put it right here, and this is this is just enough. We could just drop it right there. Okay, so let's uh, get our fountains going. There we go. And we'll be replacing some of these. This is just to kind of demarcate the area uh, so we know where things are going to be. And that's fine for now. We're not going to build it just yet. This is also close enough to the Hippodrome where the Hippodrome Walker can get out here and run around, so we shouldn't be worried too much about things like that. We also have some farmland here to provide some, some initial fruit as well, which is good for us. So, we are invasion imminent. We do have one full group here of uh, troops. Let's get another one. Let's get, uh, let's get a mounted group here. So we'll have some cavalry, some quick response cavalry. And then eventually I do want to add some towers up here so we can have kind of like a tower defense area. This one in particular because it's going to be really close to uh, to our docks. So this, this area can become under a, a, a severe threat very quickly. So you want to be a little bit careful with that. Okay, so with the cav being built, with our... Uh, our warehouse is full right now. We want to really try to get our economy onto the next level. So we're just not worried about money at all. So now that we are doing some good work here, let's open up that next trade route. Hieropolis here. Spend a bit of that money. And that should spawn a new trader pretty quickly. And they should be selling a lot of this stuff right away. See the disappear. We are in October now, 21 AD. In a little bit, we'll check our trade to see how much we're doing still. We should be uh, pretty good to go. Yeah, we're starting to sell that marble again. Just look at our, our money shoot back up. It's immediately paying for itself, the, uh, the trade route is, which is good for us. 
The traders are going this way here. Eventually, they're probably going to go this way. So we could highway this as well. But we'll uh, we'll see. This might become difficult for them to, to cross. I haven't decided yet. Alright, we're starting to get our cav up here. Looks good. And we could also start getting some more marble. We could do... Uh, there's a marble quarry here. And then I think I saw some more up in the, uh, the north here. Yeah, there's this one here. Was there another one up here? I kind of thought there was. Yeah, there's one here as well. Your marble is really scattered on this map, so you have to be a little bit inefficient with how you're shipping it off. I don't think there was any marble over in this side. There's a decent amount of farmland here, but I don't see any ruins that'll tell us about marble quarries up here at all. So, I think that's probably it for the marble, is the, the stuff in the north up here. So that's fine. You know what we should do? Let's also get some more highways. Get those two, and then I'm going to clear this up a bit. Just want to get these... Get these traders out as fast as possible. Can't stress enough. Yes, the faster they're out of your city, the faster that new ones come in. And the more money you can make. Okay, we're in December. Let's quickly check our trade here. So let's see what we did for this year so far. 51 of 80 timber to marina. 9 of 25 um, fruit. 12 of 12 on marble. That's good. To Ephesus, 64 of 100 timber. 8 of 40 fruit. And then Herapolis, which we just opened, uh, of course, is just 12. We, got, we sold a lot of marble to them, but other than that, it wasn't too much. All right. Now, we have, again, increased the amount of traders coming in to buy timber, so we'll have to keep an eye on this. We might even add more timber yards here, which is, uh, you know, I'm, I want to be a little bit careful with it. I don't want to add too much, but we'll, we'll do what we can here. I'm going to, I don't like how these are not filled in. I hate having empty space. I'm going to fill those in. We don't really need the extra plebs right now, but we will need them eventually, so that's not the worst thing to get them right now. And I think we can go ahead and get some marble. Another thing we could do up here is we could start getting oil and wine. We can't really sell much of it right now. Let's see, Byzantium buys quite a bit of it. And this is a land trade route as well, so we could open Byzantium and start selling that. The uh, Athens sea trade route buys just raw vines and olives in bulk right there, so that's pretty good. And Alexandria buys pottery. Pottery I'm not going to be worried too much about, but wine and oil would be nice to get. Uh, eventually I'm imagining that the the price of timber and the demand for timber is going to go way down, and the demand for oil, things like that, is going to go way up, so we'll be able to take advantage of that situation. Uh, we could get a dock here right now if we wanted to. I could open this up a bit. Might get a dock on this side. Let's see, could it fit right here? Yeah, we could do a dock right here, and then I think we can bridge over here. Let me uh, let me see our bridge situation. Okay, we couldn't do it there. Couldn't do it here. I don't know how much of this is because uh, because of trees. Let me find that out real quick. We could just dock right here and ignore the island, too. That's a that's a thing. Ship bridge is what I was looking for. Oh, I wonder why this doesn't build. Is it too short, maybe? I don't think that's the case. Oh, this does. Okay. We'll get that. Now the sheep are going to charge across the river. We'll grab our dock, and that way we can put warehouses just right here for everything, and that should be good to go. Let's pause for just a second so I can rotate everything. We'll get this going, like that, and we'll get our 
Angie and Prefecture right here. And then we'll get a warehouse, because why not? We might as well get it right. You want your warehouses, your boat warehouses, to be right next to the dock. It's it's pretty important. And we're not bringing anything here yet, but it's just nice to have it set up. And then up here, we'll probably start getting... I could probably actually get uh, vines and... Whatchamacallit, vines and all olives just right on this area, because I don't think I'm going to be getting any food here. Let's clear this up a bit. Increased trading of timber. Okay, so we're still selling a lot of timber, which is good. And then we can have this to... I'm just going to set this to... Uh, to vines and olives for now. We'll do 16 of each. And... We'll start that... Should we start it right now? Who was it? Byzantium that buys those? No, I don't think it was. I think it was Athens. Yeah. But Athens is 6,000 open. Byzantium's only, uh, only 3,000. So we could set up the the wine and oil right here as well. The uh, wine and oil makers. And we could have just like a little manufacturing area right here. That's not the worst thing in the world either. That's something to think about. Uh, as for this one single thing here, you know what I wonder? I wonder if we can get an, a, two, a second marble quarry here. Not okay. You always have to try. So it's just the one. I don't know how if it's gonna be worth getting this just for one marble quarry. I really, I really question. Is that Grand Temple completed? Yes. Okay, we completed our Grand Temple to Mercury. Well done, boys. Let's take a look at it. That employed 50 plebs right away. Mercury blesses your traders by land and sea with an additional 50% capacity and inspires land traders to move 25% faster. This is huge. This is going to help us with our money insanely. Our epithet. Um, this is going to cost me a thousand aria, but priests reduce pottery and feed furniture consumption by 20%. Priests reduce oil and wine consumption by 20%. Um, you know, oil and wine we both make ourselves. We're not having to import anything. We might do furniture and pottery. Let's do furniture and pottery. Because the, the oil and, and wine is only going to be the, for the patricians. I think it's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and apply that. Alright. Looks good. Yeah, these things, this is not at a risk. For fires, let's actually check. Do we have anything at risk of burning down here? I don't think we do. Like We've been pretty careful with everything. Here. This is kind of... Let's, um... This can happen sometimes. Uh, let's just get a quick... Fountain right here. So these guys leveled up, but the way the, the plebs came in... These didn't level up in time, and they're technically not getting water. But if they get to a... If they level up to a 2x2 two two instead of, like, the, the four 1x1s one you see here... That'll be enough to get them... Uh, evolved, and then I can take away this fountain. I know that might sound confusing, but... If you see this happen to you, because you have fountains over here which only touch the outer edge of this line, just build a quick fountain right here. It'll level these guys up once they get some food and they're ready to go. And then, once this is uh, a 2x2 two two like these other ones, you can just take this fountain away. Or you can keep it there. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Back to work here. We should be getting invaded at any moment. We have completely sold out of stuff here. So, yeah. Now guys are going down. Fruit is pretty low priority on the sales... So now their traders are going down here to buy that fruit, which is okay. I don't, uh, I don't mind this here that much. But I'm still wondering if I should bring the fruit up here just so we can have, uh, have the sales ready to go just in one place. We'll see. Alright. Now that we're swimming in cash. And our defenses are looking good. We've got two full groups of guys here. I kind of want to start getting a, a line of defenses. I'm going to open this up, and the reason I'm doing this is because when the enemy comes in, if they come in from here, 
If they're funneled, they're just going to run in really far to a place where they can gather. But if you leave a nice open space, they'll gather in a place. Let's see. Oh, here they come. Okay, and they are coming from right there. Good to know. So let's move our troops out. They're coming through this little pass, which looks like it was open enough for them, which is good. I'm going to open it up a little bit more. And this is actually a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Let's get you guys here. Start throwing your javelins. Cavalry are pretty weak. As you can see, they're dying very quickly. Increased trading of marble, that's good. Alright, let's return those guys to the fort. And you might have noticed this guy started shooting them and they immediately started running towards this to kill it. I'm gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna build a line of towers here. Not towers, let's uh... Start with walls. You need walls to get towers. Give me a second here. Let's see, where's my... There it is. I don't know why that took me so long. And then... We'll get the gatehouse right here. We got these going right here. Landslides. Caesar's asking for marble, so let's start storing that. We're gonna need a road out here, and we'll get our towers. Our big ballista shooty boys which will greatly enhance our ability to defend. I will get some palisades here too, just to slow down the enemy. And these guys will start filling up in a bit. And then this will be, this will help slow down a lot of invasions from this side quite a bit. Then we'll have to worry about this this and then this one down here but we'll get to those when we when we get to them okay we are uh storing our marble about 12 months to get it to them do we want to what do we have here for marble i think we're accepting eight let's go up to 16 i don't think we're actually ever going to get up to 16 but uh we can do that just so there's enough room for marble here to uh to store and then let's actually get this marble going up here so what is it there was this one and I, I was so sure I saw another one up here. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I am... I am out of my mind. I think I'm out of my mind. I thought I had another one up here, though. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Whew. Good to know you're not going crazy. Alright, so let's get these two going. Wait, you... Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, not that lucky, Chad. Not that lucky. Alright. We've got these two guys here. We'll get our engineer. And a prefecture. And we're going to need to get a warehouse. We'll, we'll worry about this invasion point in a second. I think it's here, but it might have been here. I kind of... Nah, you know what, never mind. I don't like 
investing a lot of resources to an area with just two two marble quarries, but it is what it is. Let's get our warehouse you know, right in the middle, I suppose. We got our cart depot right next to it. We will take everything off here. We don't want anyone coming here at all. We'll add marble. And then this is going to be taking to, what was this, Warehouse 2? Yeah, warehouse 2 is where we want to go with it. Oh, nice, our request is ready to go. Let's send it. It's going from 7 to 2. Click on marble. From 7 to 2. There we go. Okay, so now we're set up here with this marble. This will get us that little extra pinch of marble over here that we can sell. Which is good to have. And we can open up another trade route. Let's do it. Don't don't be shy about opening up trade routes, even if you can't fulfill it right away. If you can afford it, it's better to just have them open, in my experience. Um, Byzantium was land, by the way. I uh, for some reason I was thinking that was that was C, but the C ones are Alexandria and Athens. So we could open up the last land trade route, which I think we're going to go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do it. And now we're going to be able to sell oil and, oh, sorry, olive oil and wine. So let's go ahead and make sure we are selling those. So move down here to exportable. Exports over zero. We'll do it for both things. And where do we want to set this up? Well, we have a lot of farmland right here. And I think this is a good spot to, to set up. A good spot, a good a spot as any. I'm going to clear out a lot of land. I'm also going to add a few more... Um, oh, see, this, these guys are starting to bounce around. I don't like that. I'm going to add a few more... Uh, whatchamacallit? Highways. I don't know if those highways are going to fit here, though. Kind of not. Well, we got some. So I think what we're going to do, just to avoid any bouncing here, is we're just going to put everything we want right here. Oops. That is not what we wanted. You don't want them to go back and forth like this. So let's go, let's get another warehouse, maybe. Or we're going to do a granary. That's fine. Because they can pass through a granary, too. Here's what we're going to do. Let's tell this to get out of here for a second. Let's do a granary right here. We'll get our road like that. And we're going to allow traders here and no one else. We're going to only allow fruit. And then here, we're going to turn off traders. And we're going to start shipping our fruit over to this new granary right here. To granary 8. So we're going to be going from 4 to 8. Let's turn on fruit. 4, and then this hasn't technically opened yet. It's waiting for the, the plebs. Oh, wait a minute. Did I turn on fruit here? Yeah, I did. 4 to 8. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that'll help get us our fruit sales, and it'll prevent these guys from ping-ponging, which is nice. And then with the Byzantium boys, well, with those guys, let's also get rid of this so they can go straight here. With the Byzantium team, they're only buying well, olive oil and wine, and that's it. So they're going to be passing this up completely. And we could focus things down here, or we could just keep things over here as well. I mean, we have so much room over here, we might as well centralize. So let's let's start expanding a bit. I'm going to road this out here. I'm going to get a few more fruit farms. Just because we're, we're selling a decent amount. I'll get... Um, I'll get two of them there. 
And I can get rid of this now. Because we are touching these with this road right here. So now we have, what, two, four, six, eight fruit farms here funneling in this direction. That's good. And we can start getting some olive oil and wine. So let's do that. First, let's check our pleb situation. We only have room for 12. So we are running low on plebs. That's not good. So I'm going to build some more houses here. We'll do that for now. We'll get these three. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a fountain here for now too so I don't have to think about this. And we'll get the I don't know, a couple more small ponds, why not? Why not? We are very full on this warehouse all the time, so that should be no problem. And once we have some more plebs, we can really start expanding our our industry here. I also might start getting some more defenses. So this is another invasion point right here. I'm going to replace this with a tower. And then down here, these are only two, uh, two hexes wide. I could get a tower here. I could also get more towers right here as well. Let me, um, let me undo this here. What do we want to do? Could build a bit of defenses right here. Let me see. How do I want to do this? Get a nice line of towers right here. Oh, maybe we can't. Is this rotable? It is not, but it is in front. So let's start getting more towers. These do take some some plebs. They do take staff, so you have to be a little bit careful. Got five of them here. And we'll get some palisades. Get some right over here. Get a bunch of them. Just so they waste time having to hack through this. That's probably not the worst thing in the world. Oh, you know what? Did that block us off here? I think it did. Let me just make sure this... Yeah, there we go. That's better. And... We can get... I don't know. We'll get like a watchtower or something here. And the nice thing about these is they'll spawn javelin throwers that'll walk around a bit. And those can just help overall. We're minus 21 on plebs now, so we've got to be a little bit careful. But that should fix itself fairly quickly. Hopefully. What are we at here? Yeah, we have room for 164 again. Okay, so we have, we have plenty of room. Okay. 
let's go ahead and start adding more industry here as we can fit it. We're going to do that with uh, olive oil and wine. This is a bit ugly here, but fear not. These 2x2 two two areas can be used for production. So this might be like our little production alley here. And then... We can move this up like this, maybe. One, two, three... And let's see what we can get. So, let's just start with a few things. Let's do... Maybe a couple of olives here. Couple of olive boys. Nice, cities at 2,000 plebs. And a couple of vines. Just a few. That looks good. Okay, Caesar wants weapons, and that is mildly annoying. The reason that's annoying is because, well, we can't make weapons. Well, we could make weapons. I'd have to import the. The iron, which I don't think that is importable. So we're going to have to buy weapons from someone else just to sell to him. This is one of those things that map makers do that I actually don't like that much. Where you just have to go out of your way to buy something uh, in order to sell it back to Caesar or send it to Caesar. It just means you have to... It feels like a time-wasting mechanic where you just have to, you know, import something, set, set it to be available at a warehouse, send it off, close the import, um... And it's just like, okay, that was, that happened. But I, uh, I shouldn't gripe too much. We got our farms, and we can get our production here. So let's go workshop, wine first. So we'll do wine, wine. Like that, and then we'll do workshop. We'll do oil over here, I suppose. Oil, oil. And we'll need our warehouse, which I'll get here. And we'll be adding much more production. It's just for now. This is just for now. We're going to turn everything off here. Well, if the land traders are coming this way, we can let them in. And then we'll just do oil and wine. There we go. Let's unpause. And then, the, the thing about these is you'll forget about them, so it's better to just take care of them quickly. I'm gonna do... How do I want to do this here? How do I want to do this? You can see we're actually really running out of timber now, too. Mine is 93. Let's let these plebs settle in. I'm not gonna build any more stuff, any more things, until we get uh, our unemployment sorted. But yeah, what you want to do is you're going to go to your trade advisor, find weapons, it's importable, so you're just going to hit importing. Importing max is fine, and then what you're going to do is here, just at any warehouse, but this one, just set this to 8, so you're going to have 8. And then once the, the 8, once the 8 weapons get dropped off, you just turn off the imports and send it out. And that's the plan. But you can see where our economic machine is is just non-stop right now. This is this warehouse is constantly being emptied. It feels pretty good. Nice, these things are almost done getting sorted. Really, it's just these guys who haven't gotten food yet, but they will. We added a lot of infrastructure right away, so we might actually add another um, market here just to help take care of things. Let's do that. So we'll do that extra market here. Ooh. That was uh, that was my fault. Fortunately, I don't think there was anything in there right now. So we've been selling so much of it. So we'll have to rebuild that granary. Imperial Deceit, this is what you want. Let's go into our trader right here. Turn off weapons. So no one else tries to send it to you, or sell it to you, and then boom, we got it out. 
And we're not going to be getting any more weapons there. Fine by me. Actually, is this engineer popping out on the right side? He's not. Let's get rid of that. Let's rebuild our granary here. Let's reset what we want. So just land traders, just fruit, and then one of the other things you're gonna have to reset is, well, you might have to reset is this. Yeah. Even though it's the same granary number, it's still granary number eight. Your cart depot doesn't automatically set to go back to it. So you will have to reset your cart depot. There you go. Okay. That got that done. And now we just wait for plebs to come in. We're minus 68 and we have room for how many? 242. Okay. So we will probably set up a new block soon. We don't want to get to this point where we're having to take a long break from building infrastructure because we just we need to set up a whole new city and that that causes its own problem so we got to be careful about that we also want to start getting our hippodrome worked on so we'll have to think about that in just a second as for the next city or the next block i should say well I could put it over here, actually. We've got some farmlands right up here, and some up here, it looks like. We've got this nice, really open track to land. And it's just a, another easy spot to set something up. So I think we'll get our next, our next block right here. I'm going to actually drop the reservoir right now, just so it's ready to go. And so once we start... The next episode, I'll remind myself. I'll be like, why is that there again? And I'll be like, oh yeah, I was planning to build a city there. Alright. Now, we should add some more infrastructure here. And by should, I mean we ought to. Because you can see we have a lot of guys just waiting to deliver things. Because two, two... How should I say this? One olive farm can easily support two olive oil factories, and we have two to two, so we are uh, we're being a bit inefficient there. We are having some unemployment issues, though, but that should sort, it out, sort itself out soon enough. So I don't feel too bad about adding these right away. I'll get the olive oil ones right here, and then I'll get the, uh, the wine boys down here. There we go. And now we should be pretty efficient with all of these. We'll also be selling that wine and oil, which is nice. Although, we've kind of created a bit of a weird situation with our traders kind of going on this, like, zigzag route. And I don't really like that. So I might start moving uh, this up here and getting a, uh, a warehouse up here just for this. Just because this is kind of ugly. And I'd rather the traders have more of a straight shot. The more I look at it now, the more I'm like, yeah, this uh, this kind of situation where they're having to zigzag isn't the best. It's not awful. And with more highways, especially down here, we could uh, make sure everything's nice and speedy. But it's not super ideal either. Speaking of highways, let's get a few more. do I'll do like that just so they're getting out of here with all due speed we are invasion imminent and I think that'll do it for today I think we're we're nearing an hour here so let's just review what we've got we've set out we've set up uh, some preliminary defenses in two locations here. We've got a little bit of troops here, but not too many, so we're going to have to add another fort soon. There's two spots we have not added defenses. In particular, this one's a bit of a worry because this is very close to some of our infrastructure. So, in fact, I think I'm going to wall this off here and try to force them, if they're invading here, to try to force them down this way, to go down this route. Because that takes them near our troops, which is good. So, let's do that. Let's get some walls. 
only doing this now at the end because I will forget when I do the next episode. And that will at least buy us some time, hopefully. Okay, let's continue our review. We've pretty much set this block up to maximum efficiency now. We've got a huge amount of houses here, over 2,000 plebs living in this area. We're good on food. Uh, everybody's uh, looking healthy, wealthy, and wise. We have marble set up here. That's going down to our main trade hub, and then the same up here. We just set this up, even though it's two marble houses. Marble is just worth so much money, it's worth it to get. We have a lot of extra farmland here we could take advantage of soon. We could just get the... Uh, we could get olives and vines up here if we wanted, or we could get uh, just more fruit farms and use that to supply other blocks. But honestly, this map is not short on farmland at all. It's all over the place, so we're not really worried about that. We also have our dock set up, which we're not using yet, so next episode that's going to be a priority. We will open up our dock, and we'll start getting uh, olives and vines over here, so we can just sell it like that. Start selling to Athens. And then... By that time, honestly, I think our economy will be just in full swing. We're already at 13,000 denarii. We're looking very good on denarii. We could even add some more timber yards if we want to, because we're just selling such a bulk of it. All right. It looks good to me. So thank you guys for joining me on this episode here. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. You can like and subscribe, and you can follow at twitch.tv. Uh, author Valentine, excuse me. We do games like Caesar 3 often so map based strategy games including Caesar 3 when there's a new map out that I want to that piques my interest I will play that as well and until next time you guys have a good rest of your days evenings and mornings as they may be and I'll see you guys in the next one take care